What I want to talk about, and it's going to be very quick, um, is my personal experience with reducing my property taxes. I have gone to the Board of Assessors review three times for myself over the years and been there a number of times for other people, including my son. So I have gone all the way to the Michigan Tax Tribunal and I want to tell you that the process works because it has for me. Each time I went, property taxes were reduced. Um, so I did, it wasn't coming up, but and we don't want to waste a lot of time. So Mr. Donwell had had up on his screen um, the this is not a tax bill, right? So I want to tell you in the beginning of the year when we all got these in January, um, my prior year, 2015, was $21,300 was my assessment. And they decided, uh, the assessor, for 2016 to reduce that to 18100 And I thought, hmm, that doesn't seem fair to me. What can I do about that? So I, I requested uh, that they look at that again. So just a brief note brought it to the assessor's office, and they sent me back this. Before the appeal, $18,100, and after the appeal, $18,100. So they kind of said, hmm, no, we'll keep it the same. I'm not a person that accepts no very well. So, uh, you know, there are, Mr. Donwell said there are a number of steps, and uh, I'll go to every step and stick with it. So when that happened, um, so you get this in the mail, and all you really have to do is sign it and put a little bit of information. You can send it, you mail it in if you want. I don't do that. I went down there. I wanted it stamped. That's my document that I have taken the next step. Because as Mr. Donwell said, there are hundreds of thousands of properties they're dealing with, and there can be human error that they could lose your document. Well, I have the copy, so if we need to have a discussion, you did this on the 11th of March, and so here we go. So they mailed me back. That was on March 11th that I was in the office, and they mailed me back, and I brought a little copy of the envelope because this is something you really need to keep in mind when you're doing this. This was mailed out on the 14th of March and I was in there on the 11th. It's pretty good. I got it on the 18th of March in my mailbox when my appointment was, which was March 19th, the day after I got this. So the reason that I tell you that is because when you know that you're going to do this, be prepared before you even start to go down to the assessor's office because you could get an appointment that is at warp speed and you need to be ready. So they send you in the mail. There's, there's a, unless they've changed it, there's a green form um, that comes with this and you'll bring this when you go before the Board of Review, when you check in. Um, and there's a little notation or area for notation at the bottom about why you think your property taxes are incorrect. It's small. Don't say a lot. There's not a lot of room, but save that for your discussion. A big situation I think that is helpful is to talk about external obsolescence. What is that? That's what is around your property that's hurting your property value. When I went to the Board of Review, they pulled your house up. They had a picture of my house and all the statistics that the assessor has. And I, I looked around and saw the look on their face because my house is in pretty good condition. And I said, I know you're looking at that and what would this woman be doing here? You know, this seems pretty fair external obsolescence. Houses around me were vacant, and as Mr. Dewey talked about also when he did his assessment, um, 
vacancies in Morningside, that's where I live, and also um, foreclosures, and also vacant lots. So what I did, and I should add that I worked for Loveland Technology and pulled their data, right? Because I worked there, so it was easy for me. Morningside, 5,594 properties in Morningside. At the beginning of the year, 1,205 were vacant lots. I think that hurts my property value. So I broke it down further, and this was like in 12 hours that, that I did that just basically overnight, because I had a 9 o'clock appointment, um, and talked about how many foreclosed properties on my street, on my block. You don't have to go that far, I believe, but I did because I had access to all that. And I'm willing to help any of you get access to all of that. Makeloveland.com, right? So makeloveland.com, and you can get a lot of information that will be helpful for you about properties and vacancies in your area. Uh, there's a lot to look at on there. So it, it's very, very helpful. So when I went there, I'm just going to remind you that I was still at $18,100 for my assessment. I brought a few pictures of external obsolescence. There were some houses that had had some fires, some houses that needed to be demolished, and I showed those. I didn't show the good houses on my street because they don't hurt my property value. So understand that. It's the, it's the properties around you externally that can hurt an otherwise wonderful house in your neighborhood. And we have some very wonderful homes, but other things can complicate that. And, in, in, um, you know, for resale, you may not be able to get as much money as, as you would if there weren't vacant lots and foreclosures and various things, maybe burned out house, for example. So I brought a couple of pictures. And so at the end of our discussion, which I, Mr. Donwall said, you know, you have to be brief. And that's true. To me, it's kind of like a five minute discussion. And that's your chance. Just be very particular and specific about what you say. Don't add any, anything that doesn't matter about property taxes. I, I've sat in on other folks because I wanted to get a sense of what is it they want to see, what is it that they really don't want to see, because they'll, they'll stop you. So at the end of it, my $18,100 of, um, of assessment went to, in the appeal, $10,000. That translates to um, my property taxes are a, a little over $800 a year now. My house is good. There's still, there's still a lot around me that needs to be done. Uh, but this system really does work. Because in the beginning, when we got this is not a tax bill, um, it was 21.3, and now it's 10,000. So that's a substantial reduction uh, in my property taxes based on what the what the assessment is now. Um, so that's really all I want to say to you is that the process and the system works. They were very good. It's rather intimidating, I think, for a lot of people because the Board of Review is at a big table with a lot of people that have some authority and it, it, it really can be intimidating. But just tell the story of your neighborhood and or if, if you have, you know, condition issues in your home, I chose to do external obsolescence. And I keep using those words because somebody at the assessor's office told me in a meeting that really that is, that is the key words to use, what's externally going on in your neighborhood. 